Good morning, guys. Today is day 63. It's June 4th, and we finally, uh, we're still in, okay, from the last video, if you remember, we're, we're in PA. Um, we're had some rain here as well. We're finally drying out, and we're back on the trail. Uh, we are in, just off of 322, 325, um, hiking a piece, Go headed north to Lickdale, about a 15-something day today. Like I said, the sun's supposed to come out, uh, but it's wet, it's damp, and it seems like uh, that's our calling on the trail, is wet and damp, but uh, they say this afternoon's going to be good. So, um, not a lot of change in scenery from uh, Virginia to Pennsylvania. We still have this lush green going on. Everything is super wet, super uh, watered. Uh, so when the sun comes out, it grows like all heck. We have those ferns uh, going on here as well. Kind of got a jungle look to it. A little chilly here this morning still. Uh, almost put the rain jacket on, but decided that wasn't the uh, fashion statement we wanted to set for today. So, um, it was kind of weird and interesting being back in uh, civilization for a while. Uh, Mighty Mouse and I had no idea that the gas, the gas crisis was back on. Uh, been uh, had the pickup truck. We uh, dropped that off at our uh, at our pickup point where we're going to stop for tonight. And I didn't realize that gas in Pennsylvania had gone up to over three dollars a gallon. So that was kind of a shocker. Uh, other than that, uh, we didn't we didn't miss much news as far as I can tell. But. Uh, well, we, like I said, it's good to be back with you guys. Good to be back on the trail. Good to have you with us. Uh, we've missed you all. Appreciate everybody's support on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, we'll keep you with us all day today. And hopefully we'll bring you a few, uh, a few good views, a few nice sights. We should have a fairly flat day. So we're looking at uh, what we're hoping is a pretty good speed pretty good pace for today but uh, that's it it's good to be back love you guys we'll talk to you soon well one thing I'll say for Pennsylvania so far is uh, we seem to have a lot more rocks than uh, than Virginia. So, and I believe uh, there's a lot more rocks further up northern, more north. We're right now, I think it's mile 11, 66 or 67 or something. Uh, and as we get further north in Pennsylvania. The rocks will be more and more prevalent. Alrighty. Looks like this is what we're going to have all day long. Alrighty. All day long. Uh, it's more mentally challenging than it is physically challenging. Uh, it's kind of like water torture, wondering when you're going to get to solid ground, but it's not terribly bad walking. It's just, you could get on your last nerve. Oh well, Virginia, Pennsylvania, whatever, some things on the trail never change, only, uh, we don't got those wooden steps here. 
we have uh, rock steps. Pennsylvania got plenty of rock. So there we go. Up we go. And one more. There we go. Must be another hundred of them things. Now, we got the sun trying to come out. Starting to see a few shadows here. The mist is kind of lifting. Um, but uh, other than the, the rocks on the trail, it could easily be mistaken for Virginia. Hey guys, just to, while we're walking here, I got a little bit of flat going on. Um, just a little re gear update. Remember that uh, that new pair of shoes I bought at Damascus? By the time I had gotten to Bland, both the front toes, the rubber had come off and peeled forward. So I was originally extremely disappointed in Ultra. Of course, it might have had something to do with the six or seven days of, of walking in uh, flooded trails. But in any regard, uh, when I noticed it, I, I uh, emailed Ultra, uh, it's A-L-T-R-A, -A, the maker of the shoe, and uh, they, uh, they called me and uh, within sh I sent them some pictures of the shoes and in uh, short fashion they agreed to replace the shoes. Um, did have to pay $10 uh, shipping, but for a $130 pair of shoes, brand new pair of shoes. So I got the ones that originals, um, all got them on today. Uh, put some super glue on the toe, brought them back. So they're they're usable for now. But uh, shout out to uh, Ultra Shoe Company, the maker of the trail shoe. They came through with uh, bells and whistles with a brand new pair of shoes. So. Yep, there's still still some good customer service out there sometimes. I don't know if the uh, scale of all that can come through on the video, but uh, there are the rocks that they keep talking about in Pennsylvania. Rocks, rocks, and more rocks. Alrighty, now we got a new trick. Up the rock, down the rocks. Alrighty. Well, <clears throat> um, in case you didn't know, um, Pennsylvania is the number one state for Lyme disease, which is primarily carried by the deer tick. And if you can see how narrow this trail gets, and how close you are and rubbing your bare skin, arms and legs against the side of the trail, you can see how easy it is to pick up a tick around here. So uh, that'll be another brand new concern. Uh, don't have to worry about the bears as much here, but uh, like I said, moving on, the deer tick is probably the biggest concern here in Pennsylvania. Here the trail is uh, going right through a designated burn zone. Uh, you can just see the, you can just barely make out where the trail goes, and you can see that they've burnt 
on both sides. Not 1000% sure what that's all about, other than it must be some exact way they do it because, as you can see, it didn't touch the trail. But everything on either side is totally gone. And we even have boardwalks in Pennsylvania. And thank goodness. It's like a swamp out here. It never did rain. But the sun never did come out either. So everything kind of stayed wet and messy. Almost done for the day. It's uh like it was 15.7 in the books and, and just like that back in the wilderness all right guys we'll uh like i said we're just about wrapping up for today uh not a whole lot of excitement going on it was good to get back at the trail um i'm pretty sure we're we got the next section coming up uh and that'll be tomorrow so Stay tuned. Uh, I and as I will be back in the real world uh, later on this afternoon, it's very possible I could get this posted today, and I can keep up to date. That's uh, all the modern conveniences of home. So, talk to you guys later. Hope to see you well, soon. I lied, lied, guys. There is a little bit more of excitement. That's how it's done.